of the strawberry industry, which is what I work with a lot, uh, they, they use, well, at the beginning, practically all methyl bromide, all the acreage. And so that's transitioned into about 50% of the California strawberry acreage has, has gone into methyl bromide alternatives. But that's primarily you know, inline and, and chlorpicrin. And there's a lot of problems with the use of, of any and all fumigants and because of the, the buffer zones and uh, safety zones. And, uh, you know, there have been some issues with fumigants and, and uh, bystander exposure. And so, because steam is, has been used for, well, over a century and we knew it worked, just the question is, well, why can't we do it on a field scale level? There's a lot of, you know, limitations and problems that people have been pointing out, but uh, all along, I became more and more aware by going to meetings in Europe of what the Europeans were doing, especially the Italians, and there they have not been able to use methyl bromide for a while now, yet they have uh, a number of the same industries that we have, and they're able to keep going. So we want to get a wheel machine that we can drive in the furrows and treat raised beds. That's, that's what we want to do and where we want to take it, so that we can treat finished strawberry beds, and so they'll give us, literally, we can, we can treat right up to the, to the, you know, within hours. As soon as the, the soil cools, you can plant it. And there's no, no restrictions, no pesticide registration, no re-entry, just don't touch what's hot. That's, it's, it's the same precautions you'd use in the kitchen. If there's a lot of nematodes in that place where you first plant your tree that first year, they could be devastating. Uh, resistance may not be enough. If we have that situation, we've been looking at steam as a way to clean out that soil before you plant it. And so this is a steam generator, and uh, we can make a million BTU steam heat out of this, uh, this thing. This will be mounted onto a tractor, and there's an auger in the front of it. And we will dig down four feet, maybe two holes, three holes. We have to find out how much we need. And so they will be treated with steam uh, prior to the prior to the planting of the tree. It could be the day before, it not make any difference. Uh, this is the unit that can do that. Our, our unit happens to be, uh, the energy comes from propane. And uh, we have tried compressing the air first, and uh, that doesn't gonna help us with an auger. So, so we kind of know what it's gonna look like. Uh, we know what's gonna make it run, and we just have to get some equipment uh, built up to be able to do that part of it.